uh, hello boys um this was your holiday homework which i gave on 23rd of september uh you are given an option to have it answered uh bringing to school or bring it without an answer but anyway so i'm pretty sure you're watching this after our activity in the class because i will upload this after our activity in the school so this is just to help you out and how to remember the questions and how they can be answered okay so just follow up with me uh on how these things can be done so we'll start first by going through each question and let's uh, provide an answer on this, the side of this also so here's the thing it is so the first question it says here okay it says here that uh, right this uh, number numerical value into two decimal places so technically speaking the two decimal places only belong to eight to nine that's the thing but as i've told you in the class this will be a factor on what will happen to the next value to the last digit of the two decimal so technically since this is five or more this is number seven it will affect the value of nine so the, the next number of uh, 89 is 90. So technically speaking, this will become zero and this will become nine. So your final answer for this question should be 1.90. So this will be the answer if it says two decimal places. For the next one, it says here, write uh, 0 0.07164, corrected to two decimal or two significant figures. So technically, as the rule of thumb, significant will only be important when the number is non-zero. So this uh, zero and another zero is not countable as part of the significant as it starts with zero. So you will start only counting from seven and one. So it's going to be seven and one. So this is your two significant. But it turns out that this particular number next to num number one this number six, so that's another five or more number. So basically, this will change after 71, it's going to be 72. So your final answer for that one should be 0 0.072. So this should be your final answer if that's the question. So that's two significant figure, and the one becomes two because of number six. So that's how we do it. So I hope you understand. You can replay that video again to understand how I explained it. Now the next question, it says here that write the following numbers correct to one significant figure. So one significant is basically, as you mentioned, number seven is one significant. Okay. So, but before or after seven, it is number six. So number six is five or more. So that seven will become eight. So your final answer should be eight. And since there are three digits after eight or seven, there will be three zeros into it. So it should be 8,000 if you want to make it into one significant figure. The second one, uh, it's most likely the same. This one here, this number and this number are the same. Anyway, these are past letter question. That's why you have these things. So the same concept. So you have it here, which is 72. So since after six is eight, so that will become seven. So, in other words, your answer will become 0 0.077. So, that changed the number 6 into 7. So, that's how it is on this particular uh, uh, question. Uh, that will be the case. So, let's move on to the next question. It says here, uh, we need to calculate this particular uh, number. So, if you look at the number, um, anyway, uh, you can try working with it uh, uh, manually, but it will take time. So uh, I think these questions will come along with the calculator. But if there's no calculator, let's try to solve it as well. So how we can do it? Let's start first by solving one uh, line at a time. So let's start solving the, the, uh, the numerator part. It's going to be 5.39 minus 0 0.98. So that's the case. So the numerator part will have one. So it's going to be 13 here. It's going to be four and four. So it's going to be 4.41. So that will be the numerator part. For the denominator part, it will become zero 
0.743 uh, minus is going to be 0 0.0743. So as we know, we'll add 0 into it. So if that's the case, so this will become number 10. This will become number 2. And this will become 7. So in this case, this will become number 2 divided by uh, minus 4. It's not possible. This will become 12 and this will become 3. So this will become 18. So here, it's not possible also because 3 minus 7, it's not possible. So this will become 13. This will become 6. So 13 minus 7, that will give us 6. And that will become 6 also. So in short, your final answer in the denominator is 0.6687. Now, after that, of course, the looks of that one right now will become 4.41 over 0 0.6687. Now, if you want to calculate that one, basically, we have to go to the division method. So, the uh, one way of doing it is a technique is making it into whole numbers. So, I think if you look at the denominator, it has four digits after the decimal. So it's good that we will make that one into that particular option. So in short, we will make it into uh, uh, this particular denominator is going to be 6, 6, 8, 7 divided by 4, 4, 1. And since I move four times, I will also move four times. One, two, then I will add two particular zeros into it. So 6,687, I mean, four to 4,100 divided by 6,687. Uh, 6, so that's actually each number, but it looks better than looking at this one as a decimal place. So now you have to try an error. Uh, you have to uh, come up with a trial and error so that you can get the possible value of this one here. So um, if you look at the number, that's 6,000. So if half of 6,000 is uh, probably 12, uh, I mean, have the double of the 6,000, that will become uh, into 12 or something. Uh, yeah, it's going to be 12,000. Uh, no, no, not, not, not uh, if, I mean, like if you make multiply six times five, it will be close to 30,000. So 30,000 is going to be closer to this one here. So you can try five. You can try also six so that which one would be most clo more closer to it. So I will just open uh, Microsoft Word so that we can see it clearly. Six, six, eight, seven. Six, six, eight, seven. We will try to multiply that one with six just to make sure if we are doing it right uh, on this particular thing. So six times seven is four to two. Uh, 6 times 8 is uh, technically 48, and plus 4 is going to be 52. So 5 to 36 plus 5 is going to be 41. 36 plus uh, 4 is going to be 40. So it is 40,122. So if you go back to our thing, that is very close to 44,100 or 44. Uh, that one there. So basically, it's going to be six here. We will put six. So let's press my writing. It's going to be six. Oh, sorry, going to be six. And the number we use is 41 to two. Okay. 40, 100, uh, 40,122. So that's the case. And if you do the math for that one. If you subtract them, just basically you will come up with the uh, value which is eight, uh, 8 here. This will become 9 because it's from 0. So that will become 7. And of course, this will become 0 also because uh, it's borrowing of the numbers there. So this will go back to 10. And this will become 3. Okay, so that's going to be 9. And this is going to be three. So it's three, nine, seven, eight. Uh, again, it's going to be three, nine, seven, eight if you do that. So what will be the, this is 6,000, this is 3,000. So again, you will put a decimal here in that case. So 
this is close to 5 now because if you look at the numbers, it's going to be uh, 6, 6, 5, uh, 6, 6, 8, 7 here. So 6, 6, 8, 7 times 5, we will see if we can get the value. It's going to be 35. It's going to be 43. Uh, it's going to be 6, uh, 34. All right, so 33, so it's going to be 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. So 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, which is good. So 3, 3, 4, 3, 5. So we will add 0 now because we put the dot already. So it's going to be 5 here. So that's the case. So it's going to be 5. If you subtract, this will become 4. Uh, this will become 3. It's going to be 6. So now it's getting, we'll just make it to the two decimal actually, we just start two decimal places. So if we look right now, this is close now to 6,345, it's very close to 6,687. Uh, so I can assume that this will gonna be nine here. All right, so that will be the case. So I think this will be enough without calculator that you will have that particular value. So let's just try to, Use that one in a calculator. Let's see if that actually a correct answer we have there. So I have this uh, online calculator and we will see. We'll input the values and let's figure out if that will really be the case. If we will get that uh, 6.59. Close to it. It's not going to be uh, exactly like that. What's close to it? 5.39 minus 0.98. Okay, that will do, and that will be the answer. Okay, our answer is 4.44. Let's divide that answer into, let's put the bracket so that it will not make any problem. 743 minus 0 0.0743. And then close that bracket, and let's see our answer. Okay, there you go. So our answer is clear. It's 6.59. So it's correct. It's correct. So let's see if we can make it into fraction. That's the highest, that's the fraction. So I'm sure it will come as part of the calculator, but just in case, if it will not, if you have this, you have an uh, idea now on how to do it. So the final answer would be uh, 6.59 on that particular question number two. Okay, let's move on to number three. Question number three, it says without using calculator. So it is probably uh, obvious they, that they don't want you to use calculator for this. So here, the rule of thumb, you will multiply first this number and plus the numerator, which is five. So six times one plus five, meaning you will make it six times one plus five over six plus nine over 10. So that will become 11 over 6 plus 9 over 10. Now, there are several rules you can apply with this one when doing the, the fraction addition. You can actually get the LCM for this, which is uh, by default, if you look, it's going to be 30. Uh, but I will not do that one right now. I'll show you another method, uh, the method of just multiplying this. And that will also help you to do it. So if you multiply the numerator, the uh, denominator is going to be 60. It's going to be 6 times 10 is going to be 60. Then after that, you need to cross multiply. If you cross multiply, that will become 110. Plus, this will become uh, 54. So that's the case. So again, this is not the only method. that uh, This actually makes a number bigger, but it's still manageable if you look into it. So right now, 110 plus 54 is going to be 164 over 60. So is that the final answer? Uh, probably it's not because that's still manageable or divisible by a certain number. So let's, if you cannot think of a bigger number, start with two. So no problem. Divided by two, that will become uh, 82 over 30. Okay, because divided by two, 16 and four, that will be the thing. And again, that 82 over 30 is still divisible by two. If you cannot think beyond that, just start with the uh, number two anyway. So that's going to be, 41 and it's going to be 15. So that's it, 41 over 15. And since 
it is a mixed uh, improper fraction, so you have to do the uh, mixed fraction for that one. Your answer is a mixed fraction as dimension, so meaning you will do the division. So it's going to be 15, you're going to have 2, you're going to have 30, and you will have 11 as the default. So the final answer should be 2, 11 over 3. So this is your final answer on that question number 3. So that's exactly how to do that question here. So I hope you understand uh, until that particular question. So now the next question is about working using without using calculator again. So, but this is a little bit simpler now. So here we have uh, 11 over 12 and one over three. So another one method that you can do is actually using the, uh, making the denominator this uh, same value. So if you look at the denominator, we have 12 and three. So. I'm sure you can think of a number that when you when you multiply by three, it will become 12. And that is number four. So you will write number 11 over 12 minus, since it will become 12 when you multiply by four, you have to do the same thing on the, in the numerator also. So it will become four over 12 now. So the rule of uh, fraction, when the, when the denominators are the same, just simply add or subtract. So that will become seven over 12. So that will be the case of this one here. So 7 over 12 is your final answer on this question. So that's it. That's how simple it is. Next one is about division. So the rule of division is just using a cross multiplication actually. So you can just cross multiply this. That will become 13. That will become 44. So is 30, 13 is already a prime number, so there's nothing else you can do about it. So this is the final answer already. So that's how simple it is. Um, number five uh, is the multiplication. Multiplication is numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. But since this one here is a mixed fraction, you have to make it first into a proper or improper fractions. Two times two plus one, it's going to be five over two times four over 25. Now, you can literally multiply this to become 20 and 50, but you can also make it into, since it's multiplication, and you can see that this is actually manageable. 4 divided by 2, you will end up with 2. 5 divided by 25, or 25 divided by 5, that will give you 5. So that means you can just use that concept also. It's going to be 2 over 5 if you look into that particular question. So this will be the final answer for that one. So again, you can also make it 20 over 50. 20 over 50, the same thing as 2 over 5 if you'd like to. But you can do the cross multiplication. I mean, like, uh, divide them I, uh, as much as possible. So it's okay. So there's no big deal about that one. So I think this is the last question of the page number two. Uh, it says the square among the list that's available above, you have to find the square numbers. So... Basically, as our definition of square number, if you remember how we define it, this is the result of a certain number that multiply by itself. So a result of multiplying a certain number by itself. So eight, there's no number that when you multiply by itself will give you eight, nothing. 10, there's none. 11, most likely none. This one is like nothing. 13 is a prime, we couldn't have. 14, we cannot have. And 15, technically we cannot have. So only, 9 and 16 can have because 9 is coming from 3 square and 16 is from 4 square. So basically, the result of 3 square is 9, the result of 4 square is 16. So your answer should be 9 and 16. Now, the next question is a prime factor of 99. So meaning a number that can divide 99, but it's a prime number. So this is probably eliminated because this is, these are not prime numbers. Uh, these are not prime numbers, so I will just eliminate those numbers are not prime. These are not prime, these are not prime. So the only two prime that we can have is 11 and 13. But 13 cannot be used. There's no number, no, you cannot make 99 divided by 13 and it will give you a whole number. So it's not possible. But nine, but 99 over 11, you can have 9. So this is the prime factor of 99. So your answer for that one should be 11. Again, nine, uh, 99 is divisible by 11, and 11 is a prime number. So that's the case in the particular question.